around you and I He watches our ship sink down No, we can't lie of passion flawless fashion ain't it all just cheap distractions Live at 8 with the hottest in the state So tell a friend you wanna take them out of space So they can unplug to a new level With different artists who take it to a new level uh, And you never know what you gon' get You never know what you gon' get You might get rock or you might get Hello, rap Hello everyone you might get and welcome R&B to Live from Next you Sound Studio Where each week we are connecting independent music artists with their fans through their lyrics For those of you that don't already know <laughs> I am your host, Nequasia. Now, let's get to tonight's featured performer. 
Adrian Dannon is a singer, songwriter, and multi instrumentalist based in Jersey City, New Jersey. Inspired by a plethora of styles, he makes alternative rock with a vintage twist and a sinister edge. He's played at venues throughout New York, such as Rockwood Music Hall, Pianos, Under St. Mark's, and the Delancey. Night of Swords, his anticipated debut album, was released into the world on New Year's Eve 2021 to critical acclaim. Let's take it to our director to find out a little bit about him and the lyrics behind his song, Driving Through. Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. Here I am, Will B. Walker, your director. I'm sitting with Adrian Dannon. He's fresh off of his debut EP, Night of Swords. So we just want to get into it, find out a little bit about your artistry, how you developed and cultivated as an artist, and uh, how you learned to play all these instruments, what instruments your favorite. But we'll just start off with the cultivation of your artistry. Uh, well, I started playing music when I was pretty young. I was about 13 years old and I had this guitar teacher and he really inspired me to think outside the box and he kind of led me to be like an ear player so I could so in that way I picked up a bunch of other instruments as well just by like listening and playing along I don't and know how what to other instruments oh I play bass drums a little bit of piano synthesizers percussion and I sing but guitar is definitely like my main main instrument and also you write yes so how do you put all of these talents together? Have you ever been in a band or anything? Or are you just kind of like your own one-man band? So I did get my start as a sideman in a band. I was playing bass with like a bunch of punk rock groups and stuff like that. Um, but then one day, it was just getting like a little too emotional. I wanted to go in this direction, and the other group didn't want to go in the same direction as me. So I was like, okay, it's time to break out and do my own thing. And I'm very happy ever since. And within that, you come up with your first project, Night of Swords. So let's talk a little bit about the whole project in general as a collective and what it was like to make it. It was a very long process. I mean, the title track, Night of Swords, I wrote probably about seven years ago, but didn't actually finish writing it until about two years ago. You know, it takes like some ideas take longer than others. And that was like a definitely a long, long gestation period. Um, and what, and from doing that, how did you select the tracks that ended up going onto the album? I had a, like a cohesive idea. You know, I wanted there to be like a common thread between all the songs, like love, loss, longing, existential dread. So all those songs kind of deal with similar topics, and that's how I was able to kind of just group them together. So one song that you chose to perform from your album was Driving Through. We got to hear a like a stripped down more like acoustic version of it. Uh, let's talk about the lyrics behind that song and how you performed it here live at Next Sound Studio. So the song did start as just vocals and guitar, you know, bare bones. And the song deals with this like, this guy, He's he did something very wrong. You know, he's running from someone, you know, down a desert highway. And uh, he's being confronted by all these like, hallucinations, you know, of like the devil and like all this crazy stuff, you know, and he's like losing the last shred of his, his like human nature, you know, and he's just, I don't know, it's like an evil song. And I tried to write a story about, you know, this guy just like driving f like furiously down a highway, like trying to escape his own, you know, ill will. And that's what came out, you know. Well, he paints a vivid picture in it and here he is performing. Driving through right here at Live Next Sound Studios, AJ Adana. Driving through the root of all evil. Trying hard to play it real cool now as my car engulfs in flames. Driving through the root of all evil. Moon is shining right in my eyes. my eye 
terrible vision Men and women being burned alive Sacrifice for no good reason To the mother of violence It's true What am I to do? You know it's true What am I to do? that live performance and if you are an indie artist yourself come on and want to be a part of this awesome platform please submit your music links to next sound studio nyc at gmail.com or dm next sound studio on instagram now let's take it back to the director's cut as they discuss the lyrics to his next track like a vampire also from your album, Night of Swords, you perform like a vampire. So let's talk about that song a little bit and the lyrics behind it. That was an interesting one. It took a bunch of different meanings to me as I was writing it. But what happened was a good friend of mine was going through like a drug addiction, you know, and I wrote the song about like, you know, he found this thing and he just needs to, he needs to come back for more of it, you know, almost like a vampire looking for blood. You know, so that's like where I was coming from when I wrote it. I was watching a really close friend like deal with crippling addiction, you know, and it reminded me of just that bloodthirst, you know, like like that that compulsion to come back for more over and over again. Mm -hmm. It's like the definition of insanity. It's like you make the same mistake over and over expecting a different result. That's kind of where my thought process was when I was writing the song. Well, here he is performing it. Check out the wonderful metaphoric references in it. Also be sure to be liking, sharing, and subscribing to Live Next Sound Studio. <laughs> Thought to yourself, what the hell? It's 
gonna be a good time now You're hungry for more on a door You're shaking like a vampire Thought to yourself, what the hell, it's gonna be a good time You're hungry for more, on a door, you're shaking like a vampire You thought to yourself, what the hell, it's gonna be a good time now You're hungry for more, on a door, you're shaking like a vampire hope that you've enjoyed all of tonight's performances so far. Please be sure to check out UBC TV Network in the lifestyle category on the Glue TV app for more exclusive content. Also, be sure to check Adrian's debut album, Night of Swords, available now on all music streaming platforms. Now, Let's hear the story behind tonight's closing track, Romance is Dead. Yeah, yeah, it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. And don't forget to tell somebody to tell somebody else to tell somebody else to meet us back here next week, where we will have more amazing independent talent performing here live. Also from your album, you perform. Romance is dead, so let's talk about Romance is dead a little bit. It's kind of an embarrassing one, but uh, <laughs> I had a really good friend when I was working in Hoboken, and I had a huge crush on her. But eventually I realized we were better off friends. But I wrote that song thinking about this girl. You know, I was just like, ah, you know, I thought everything was doomed, but here you are, and I love you, you know? <laughs> And what happened? Oh, she slapped the door in your face? No, 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 no. It was, it was amicable. Like, over time, I was just like, yeah, we're better off friends. Oh, it started out as a thought, but you never acted on it. Never. Right. You know, and that's where, like, the, so the song came from, a place of longing, you know? Well, here he is performing Romance is Dead right here live next sound studio. Also, be sure to be checking out Night of Swords, available on all music streaming platforms. This is Adrian Dennett. We'll be back. They say romance is dead That hourglass ran out of sand You came from thin air And turned it back over again You are the one You are the one I've been waiting for I spent the days of my life Stabbing my heart with a knife I wasn't aware That falling in love was alright You are the one You are the one I've been waiting for
I've been waiting for If you came to party, 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 if you came to party, if you came to get down, ah, uh, ah, uh, what it is, yo, a west side. Said I wanna tell the truth and shame the devil, but if I just prove you guys need some lessons, keep it on and pop it. If you came to party, 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 if you came to party, if you came to get down, get down tonight, get down tonight.